Thank you for, so much for having me here. I'd like to start by uh, Nina Mani, uh, recognising we're meeting on the lands of the Ghana people. It's our first innovators um, and the custodians of the land here and pay my respects to elders past and present. Um, and on my, on my way here, I was reflecting about how I almost, I got a hard spot just before morning tea. Um, but I thought it was actually perfect because morning tea is a really important moment for gatherings like these, people that care around things that really matter. It's a time for shared contemplation of the things that you've heard, connection and collaboration, celebrating your wins, maybe commiseration of the things you're struggling with, and really driving that commitment to action together for impact. And most importantly, of course, caffeination. And that's really a big part of what my job is um, in, at Stone and Chalk. It's about bringing community together um, for those very things, to be able to solve problems that really matter in our community. Um, my role, I'm Director of Ecosystems uh, for Stone and Chalk Group. We're a non-profit organisation on a mission to transform Australia into a technology, a sustainable tech-driven economy. Um, and that's our mission. We're funded by the Department for Industry, Innovation and Science, who have researched an innovation grant, also with some amazing corporate sponsors. Um, we're located in an incredible space on Lot 14. Who hasn't been to Lot 14? Oh. We're going to see you there soon, I've got a feeling. Um, and it used to be the Royal Adelaide Hospital, obviously, and transformed into an innovation precinct. Uh, lots of great organisations there, like RIA is there as well, on site. And really, we're trying to build really new, new, exciting future opportunities for South Australia, for young people there. And I've got the great privilege to run um, the Startup Hub. It's in the Maninia Pinthi building, which in Ghana language means to innovate and grow. Um, and that's really where the magic of our work happens. We're a small team. There's two really important things that we do there. The first one is that we run our startup residency program across three floors. We opened there in 2019. At the moment, we have 57 startups. So you can think of them as micro businesses that are leveraging emerging technology to do things that haven't been done before um, in areas such as ag tech, climate tech space, using space technology for you know, innovative applications. Many of them are using artificial intelligence. There's lots and lots of buzzwords in there that I'm not going to, to bore you with, but all of them are really passionate about using technology to have a, a sizable impact in their communities. And they really believe that that's a problem that can be solved globally. So they come to us to be able to get that support to be able to grow and scale. We've got 250 residents currently at the moment. Um, it's a part of a network of Stone and Short Group. We've got a startup hub in Melbourne and in Sydney, we've got a startup hub and a scale up hub. That's kind of like the high school where the primary school, if you like. But since 2019 in South Australia, um, our startups have collectively raised over $140 million and they're currently valued at a quarter of a billion dollars with over 800 jobs here in South Australia. Many of them, if not all of them, are currently global organisations. So it's incredible. I had to move away for exciting careers in South Australia about 15 years ago. I came back two years ago because I could see this kind of incredible innovation culture and your opportunities for young people, keeping people here, attracting people back and people from overseas as well. And I just feel like there's this unfolding narrative which just wasn't here before, um, which is incredible exciting to be a part of and I'm very passionate and, and to ensure that this isn't something that's just located in CBDs but something around regions and I've got some ideas about what we might do together soon. So that's the first part of our magic. Now the second part happens on the ground floor and it's really around our community rituals, how we come together for all those things that just so happened to be all seized before. I don't know, that was some something happened in my brain on the way here. Um, but what we do there is bring people uh, in our innovation ecosystem together to gather and have the conversations that matter, to understand the problems, to bring together the different stakeholders that have a stake in those problems from government, from corporate, from universities, from interstate and international, from regions, young people from the universities next door and even from high schools just down the road coming along. To f and this focus on diversity is really, really critical. Uh, and we want to make sure we have a space that's inclusive. So we have regular gatherings. They're open to everyone. They're free. You can come along as well. If you've got even a, some interest in sort of ag tech, climate tech, space, cyber, or you just want to find people that think differently to come and connect, it's fully hosted by myself and our team. You can walk in there uh, with, with deer in headlights and you'll be uh, located and connected and made feel welcome. Um, our program does focus on founders because I think they're the ones who are crazy enough to think they can change the world. Um, and there's this mindset, which is I think is a part of what you know, might resonate with you in, in the regions, is that you can go fast on your own, but you're going to go further when you go together with others. 
So founders come to us and they ask for help. They've got this mindset of like, I know I can go further by asking a vulnerability around that, looking for support with access to capital, whether it's investment in South Australia from angels or from VCs, from interstate or international. They're looking for talent to help them to grow. So other pe crazy people who th want to go along with them. Um, they're looking for experts and mentors to help guide them and coach them. They're looking for customers to buy their goods and to start building that here in South Australia. Uh, and most importantly, they're finding a community of people who are just crazy enough to think they might be able to change the world. Um, and I think about the qualities of these founders, of these, they're really small business owners. We, don't, we like to think about entrepreneurs, we think about innovators, but really they're small business owners. And there's these qualities around risk taking, doing something that hasn't been done before, uh, about being resourceful, how do you have more impact with less? About resiliency, knowing that what they're doing hasn't been done before and might, you know, it's gonna be a bumpy road. And most importantly, as I mentioned, you know, they're relationship driven, they wanna go together. Now these qualities might sound familiar to you, because I think you'll find in regions, these are things that are very much at the heart of the communities that you represent here today. Um, and we already have some really great regional founders. Some of them are using AI to tailor beer to their taste of the, of the customers. Some are using virtual reality to create immersive brand experience for the wine industry just down the road. So I think there's a great opportunity here, and this is really um, my ask and the opportunity of us together, and I'd love you to come and chat to me after when you've got coffee, which you'll have in a minute. Um, the first one is if you have micro businesses in your community who are doing things differently, are using technology in unique ways because out of necessity, out of resilience, out of just needing to get along, uh, get on with doing business, I'd love you to connect them to me and know they'll be welcomed and connected into our community, and maybe there's an opportunity for some residency there. If you have innovators and rebels in your community, they are my favorite people. I would love you to uh, tell them they have a place to belong, to land, to get connected to Wi-Fi, to get connected to the community, to be caffeinated like you will be in a minute in the CBD. There's no cost. Um, my team will make them feel welcome. Please send them to us on uh, North Terrace. Um, if you haven't been, for those that haven't, please come and see us in the team. We'd love to give you a tour. Uh, we'll shout your coffee. We'll shout your drinks on a Friday at 4.30. Um, we'd love to have you and host you. And then finally, I think there is a greater opportunity here for a collaboration between regional uh, communities, regional hubs, uh, and us in the metro and the CBD. And I'm really committed to be a part of creating this innovation ecosystem, this, this network across our, so our whole state, making sure there's opportunities for all South Australians. Um, so please, uh, thank you for the opportunity to come. I invite you to take my, uh, my offer to come and see us, send people my way, um, and thank you very much.